it's funny you reference the Bulls and it's funny you used the word uh, dynasty. Uh, I, I think we are we are watching a dynasty here that you sort of sort of almost has flown under the radar, uh, especially after what's happened the last couple of years because all the injuries and things like that. Uh, you could really uh, look, you know, props to Cleveland. They won that final, obviously, uh, coming back down, uh, you know, 1-3 and came back to win that one. But the one against Toronto, obviously, was injury riddled okay i think uh and you know obviously toronto got the job done but you know kd going out clay going out that's two uh, you know uh, you know of your top sort of four players going out there at that sort of time of the season it's it's critical uh, as you can see already in this year's playoffs that when you lose key players it just changes your whole team situation so i think uh i think though i would uh, liken this uh, dynasty much more to the Spurs, though. I think, uh, you know, the Spurs obviously got five rings, uh, obviously with Tim Duncan uh, sort of leading the way there. Uh, and it was sort of spread a little bit further apart. They didn't really string them uh, all together in a sense. They were sort of very competitive, but they had sort of, they won one, they came back, or, you know, and then maybe two or three years later, won another one. And they stretched out over these years. Uh, but I think that the, the way that this team was constructed is really one that is allowing them to keep winning. Okay, and I think that's the, the key. Um, and, you know, and, and the key here is that with that young talent that they've got, obviously, they, if they go to the finals, which looks like the case this year, and if they go all the way this year, which, again, looks like a high probability that they can and, and will, as long as they remain healthy and playing this high level that they've been playing so far, that they've got three players there that are, and Jordan Poole included, I think is, uh, you know, four players, 22 and under. Okay, and mm -hmm. the reality is that they can all um, play. Okay, they can all play. Kaminga, I'm real high on Kaminga. I think we've talked about him a little bit off, uh, off, uh, off a recording that, you know, I, I love what this kid does and his stats don't really scream that. Okay, but, um, you know, if he can be patient, if he stays at Golden State, okay, uh, and that's a key, key point there. Uh, and if they can find him more of a role, that's probably going to be important too. Is he potentially someone that will replace Draymond at some point, so then Draymond doesn't necessarily have to play 30 minutes a night. He can play 20 minutes a night. You know, is that something that Steve Kerr uh, and the coaching staff was willing to do and transition to? Uh, and obviously, Kaminga's progress obviously, uh, you know, dictates that too. You know, these these sort of um, opportunities, including the fact that Wiseman is still going to come back. Okay, and that's a whole other element that they they haven't uh, had this whole season. I think this team. Uh, is in the in the uh, on its way to being recognised as a greater dynasty than the Spurs, 